हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सर्किट इन एनालॉग वीएलएसआई व्हिच इज कॉमन सोर्स एम्पलीफायर सो फर्स्ट लेट अस डिस्कस सम ऑफ द बेसिक्स सो वी नो दैट द मॉस्फेट एक्स एज अ रेजिस्टर इन लीनियर रीजन ओनली फॉर स्मॉल वैल्यूज ऑफ वीडीएस सो इफ यू ट्राई टू ऑब्टेन द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ मॉस्फेट देन वी हैव टू यूज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ ड्रेन करंट इन लीनियर रीजन एंड we can small square term for small values of vds similarly if we want to obtain the transconductance then it is defined as the change in output current due to change in input voltage so we will take the expression for drain current in saturation region and differentiate it, it with respect to vgs to get the gm so delta id with respect to delta vgs will give you the gm value we can see that the expression for gm is opposite to the expression for resistance but resistance is in linear region and gm is in saturation region now we are going to common source amplifier so we will also simulate using cadence virtuoso so the input of, input of common source amplifier is infinite because the input ac signal is applied to the gate terminal we are taking the output from the drain terminal and the source terminal is grounded so common source amplifier provides 180 degree phase shift between input and output and input resistance of common source amplifier is infinite because input is at gate vg is equal to v in so vg vgs is equal to v in because vs equal to 0 and vd equal to v out so vds equal to v out because vs equal to 0 and v out equal to vdd minus idrd so this is about the output voltage varying as function of input voltage so initially v out is equal to vdd because v in is less than vth hence transistor is off so maximum value of v out equal to vdd then as v in, in increases beyond vth v out will decrease because the drain current increases slowly so from 0 to vth transistor is off so if we move to the rightmost curve it is the function it is showing function uh, transconductance as function of input voltage so in saturation region the transconductance increases as v in increases then beyond v in 1 the transistor moves to linear region so resistance increases hence transconductance decreases so now let us try to see the expression for voltage gain of cs amplifier then in cadence virtuoso we will we will try to get maximum gain so we know that the transistor must be in saturation region so we are using the expression for drain current in saturation region only so using the equation for v out we will see we will differentiate this with respect to v in so and when we get the out value then we know the gm value so we will substitute in the expression to get the voltage gain expression equal to minus gm into rd so minus sign indicates 180 degree phase shift and the gain is proportional to load resistance and transconductance now we can obtain the similar using a small signal model so in a small signal model we have applied a so again we can see we are we will try to get the exact same expression using this and here we are ignoring CLM effect right now, but we will include it later. So V out equal to minus GM VGS into R D because GM VGS is current. So V out equal to I into R. So again, the gain expression is minus GM into R D. So this is a small signal model, very easy to draw. Only we have uh, VGS between gate to source and drain is grounded through R D because. Uh, drain is connected to vdd and vdd is a dc source so in ac analysis dc sources are made to zero that is why you can see rd is connected to ground now this is with clm so with channel length modulation we will have the output resistance of mosfet ro between drain and ground so now v out will be in parallel of ro and rd so v out will be across parallel of ro and rd so the only change here is that uh, v out upon v in that is voltage gain is equal to minus gm r not in parallel with rd so 
ऑब्वियसली वी ऑल नो दैट द आउटपुट रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ मॉस्फेट आइडियल मॉस्फेट इज इनफाइनाइट सो सी एल एम इफेक्ट विल बी सिग्निफिकेंट ओनली फॉर लार्ज वैल्यूज ऑफ आर डी नाउ अगेन देर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इफ वी आर सर्किट डिजाइनर देन देर इज ऑलवेज अ ट्रेड ऑफ बिटवीन वोल्टेज गेन एंड सम अदर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सो फॉर कॉमन सोर्स एम्पलीफायर वी हैव अ ट्रेड ऑफ बिटवीन वोल्टेज गेन एंड वोल्टेज स्विंग फॉर रेजिस्टिव लोड because if we want to increase gain then we can increase rd but if we increase rd then voltage across rd will also increase so but this will push vd downward because vd equal to vdd minus vrd so and vd minimum has to be equal to vgs minus vt so the range of output is limited hence we will have a limited voltage swing so if we get more gain then obviously the voltage swing will be limited so if you try to more if we try to get more gain then uh, voltage swing will decrease so these are the other configurations of common source amplifier so first is the diode connected load where we have n mos whose gate and drain are connected together then in the source degeneration resistance only we have connected one uh, source resistance then in current source load we have one p mos which is biased by a dc voltage vb then we have the active load which we also known know as cmos inverter so comment in the comment box if you want me to make a video on these configurations also so in current source load the m2 is connected to vb which is a dc bias voltage whereas in uh, active load pmos is connected to ac signal only so this is important difference now we will try now we will jump to cadence virtuoso and try to see how to get maximum gain from our common source amplifier configuration so now we will see how to get the maximum gain from the common source amplifier so we have a resistor of 1k we have the nmos transistor and we have a voltage source which provides the dc bias as well as the ac input signal so first i am doing a transient analysis to see the v out and v in so we will send the v out to the calculator to get the expression for the gain so gain is the value of output voltage to the input voltage and we are using a peak to peak function to get the maximum value of the output and we will divide that by the maximum value of the input so in common source amplifier obviously there is a 180 degree phase shift from output to input so the gain will always be negative but we are trying to get the maximum value of the gain so now we have three parameters the resistance the gate to source voltage and the width of the nmos and now it is a optimization problem so we have to optimize all these three parameters to make sure that the gain is maximum so first we will try to parameterize the resistance now we know from the gain equation that the gain is proportional to the resistance so as the resistance increases the gain will also increase and we will try to see this so we are doing a parametric analysis we will have the resistance as variable and we will vary it from 1k to 20k so we should see a linear relationship that as the resistance increases the voltage should also increase so it should be a straight line so we are trying to verify that so please like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos on vlsi design cadence virtuoso and i i also make videos on verilog and system verilog programming so now the simulation is complete so we can see that it is a perfect straight line on y axis we have gain on x axis we have resistance and as the resistance increases the gain also increases so now we will see again verify this by sweeping resistance from 20k to 100k so again the gain should increase so comment me in the comment box whether the increasing resistance has any disadvantage also or not in the common source amplifier so again we can see the resistance and gain has a linear relationship so now we will make the resistance constant as 20k 
and now we will parameterize the width of the NMOS. Again, we know that the gain is proportional to transconductance and transconductance is directly proportional to the width. So we should, we again expect a linear relationship between gain and width. So as the gain increases, the width, as the width increases, the gain should also increase. So we will vary the width from 1 micro to 10, 15 micro and see how the gain varies. So we are doing this for common source amplifier. So again, we can see that the gain and width have a linear relationship, but we cannot have very high width because it will increase the area of the chip. And obviously we want our chips to be as small as possible. So we have kept the width fix as 10 micro. Now, this is the very important part. We are trying to parameterize the gate voltage. Now this becomes very important because we cannot have gate voltage as high as we want because when gate voltage is very high then the MOSFET will go out of saturation and go into the linear region and we know that in linear region the gain will reduce. So we have to make the gain gate to source voltage such, such that the gain is maximum and MOSFET is also in saturation region only so we are varying the gate to source voltage from 400 millivolt to 1200 millivolt obviously less than 400 millivolt the mosfet will be in off so here we can see that at 0 0.8 volt the gain is maximum and after 0 0.8 volt the gain reduces because the mosfet moves to linear region from saturation region so now again we will verify this so we will have a DC voltage 800 millivolt and now we will try to do the dummy DC analysis and verify that the MOSFET is in saturation region only. So now we are doing a dummy DC analysis. Here we will plot the DC operating points for this MOSFET. So let us print the DC operating points for this MOSFET. We will select the MOSFET. So we can see that these are the various values and region is 2. 2 means saturation. So the MOSFET is in saturation. So VGS is a very important component because we know that the transconductance is proportional to gate to source voltage. But also MOSFET should be in saturation region only. So we have the VDC as 800 millivolt. Now we have all the three parameters that we want. Let us try to see how much gain we are getting. Obviously we want to have a gain of at least five. So let us do the transient analysis now and see the gain. Earlier without optimization, the gain was only 16 milli. So let us see the gain. So now it is 7.5, almost 7 and a half. So we have maximized the gain for the common source amplifier. This is a bonus portion. In this portion, we are trying to see the range of gate to source voltage for which our transistor is in saturation region or linear region and so on. We can see this is the common source amplifier with diode connected load. So we will do a dummy DC analysis. Then we are doing a parametric analysis where we will sweep this gate to source voltage from 0 volt to 1 volt and we will have a total of 50 steps. So a lot of parameters will be plotted here because the operating point includes all the DC parameters. So let us wait for the simulation to finish. So it will take some time to plot because again I am saying a lot of data will be printed here. So this is the transistor for which we are plotting and we are finding the actual range of voltage for which the transistor is in linear region and saturation region. So remember that the 
saturation region in cadence virtuoso is denoted by the number 2 so in the region column the number 2 denotes the saturation region so as we can see a lot of parameters are, are printed here so on the most left hand side we can see it is the sweep so this denotes the gate to source voltage and so we can see here the different parameters that are plotted here so a lot of parameters are plotted so if i sweep to the extreme left then we can see the first column is sweep and the fourth column is region so this region column denotes the range of voltage for which transistor is in saturation so we can see that from 653 millivolt to 714 millivolt the transistor is in saturation and zero denotes cut off so up to 367 millivolt the transistor is in cutoff so in this way we can determine the exact range of voltages thank you